A very good morning to all. Looking at important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for 14th July. On the front page you have five more Congress MLAs move Supreme Court. So this is regarding now Congress MLAs. They are saying that we are intimidated into supporting Kumaraswami, HD Kumaraswami government. So they have moved Supreme Court on the issue. They say that their resignation has not been expediently accepted by the speaker as such. Then this is Z Modi meet in Varanasi on October 12th. So Chinese President Xi Jinping and Prime Minister Narendra Modi are going to hold a second informal summit in Varanasi on October 12th, 2019. The first informal summit was held in Wuhan in China. And then here you have India builds 250 homes in Myanmar to assist Rohingyas. So prefabricated houses have been built by India at Nantha town in Myanmar. So, two years after more than 7 lakh Rohingyas fled to camps in Bangladesh alleging ethnic cleansing by Myanmar forces, Indian government says it's, it is ste stepping up its efforts to help them return to their villages. On page 8 you have World Heritage Committee makes its displeasure known to Hampi authorities. So, the World Heritage Committee which supervises and advises on conservation of World Heritage Sites of UNESCO has regretted the lack of response from local authorities on concerns about developmental projects in the World Heritage Site of Hampi. So, the issue pertains to road widening in the historical Kamlapur tank area of Hampi which has been viewed with serious concern by the World Heritage Committee. So, it had raised this issue in 2017 too. So, this is given here. On page 9, you have Chandrayaan 2 all set for 3.84 lakh kilometer voyage. So, ISRO is launching its moon landing mission on 15th June. So, this is the detail regarding Chandrayaan 2 and a comparison with Chandrayaan 1 2, which was launched in 2008. And this is floods, landslips cause havoc in northeast as heavy rain has resulted in landslips and flooding. Kaziranga National Park in Assam has been inundated because of over flooded you know, Brahmaputra River which flows through it. Then on page 11 here you have this regarding Kartarpur talks which will be held today on the Pakistani side of Atarivaga border. Then on page 12, you have 26 killed as gunmen from Al Shabaab storm Somalia Hotel. So, this is Al Shabaab, a militant organization in Africa and Somalia. So, Islamist gunmen have killed at least 26 people, including Kenyans, Americans, and Britons, as, uh, Britain as well as Tanzanians, when they stormed the hotel in Somalia, southern port city of Kismayo. So, Al Shabaab has quite often been in news, you should know about it as a terrorist organization from uh, from Africa in Somalia. It is Al-Qaeda linked Islamist group. Then, then on business page you have booster shot for Dr. Reddy's suboxone patent case. So US Court of Appeals as such has uh, ruled that uh, drug maker Dr. Reddy's laboratory did not infringe the two patents pertaining to British drug maker in divorce opioid dependence treatment drug suboxone. So suboxone is actually a British drug, British drug maker's drug but uh, Hyderabad based uh, Dr. Reddy's uh, laboratories it uh, has developed a generic version of it which it sells in USA and uh, the case was going on in US regarding uh, Dr. Reddy's infringing on patents as such of British uh, drug maker but then US court has ruled that two patents were, which were not infringed upon by Dr. Reddy's. Then below you have Sri Lanka keen on enhancing connectivity with Indian ports. So the ferry service as such is being uh, proposed by Sri Lanka so for connectivity with Indian ports to facilitate easier trade and tourism. So it then on Sundays, you have this FAQ coverage, frequently asked questions. So, new issues which are prominently in news are covered here. So, this is regarding the Chandrayaan 2. It says, how, the question is, how will Chandrayaan 2 study the moon? So, this is there. So, this is India's first attempt at a powered lunar landing, soft landing. And this is registry for phones. 
So it says, how has a database been drawn up to address the issue of security, theft, and other concerns regarding mobile phone handsets? So the National Telecom Policy of 2012 calls for establishment of a national mobile property registry to address the issue of security, theft, and other concerns related to mobile phones, you know, even reprogramming of mobile handsets which take place. So a registry of for phones has been proposed. And this is why is India opting for overseas bonds. So government plans to raise a part of its cross borrowings in external market. So what are the advantages and risks involved in it is covered here. Then on Sundays you have science and technology coverage. So here the first news is TIFR that is Tata Institute of Fundamental Research has desalinated seawater without electricity. So alternatively they've used gold nanoparticles to convert carbon dioxide into methane. So using gold nanoparticles that absorb sunlight from the entire visible region and even the near infrared light, uh, researchers at TIFR have been able to desalinate seawater to produce drinking water. So unlike the conventional reverse osmosis that is energy intensive, the gold nanoparticles require uh, no external energy to produce potable water from seawater. So this is an important development. And then here you have IIT Madras's model detects cancer without deep with deep learning microwave so it's an important uh, low cost safe alternative to x-ray and mri scans and below you have 127 papers from india retracted for image duplication manipulation so since 2011 and particularly in the last three four years more papers are getting flagged and retracted for problematic images so uh, there's a term called plagiarism so in scientific journals, you can see uh, plagiarism means you're copying from somewhere else and other than having your own innovative uh, contribution. So image duplication in the same paper on in different papers and image manipulation you know, is being seen as a concern. On the last page, you have US sets $5 billion fine on Facebook. So it is investigating uh, this uh, harvesting of user data in the Cambridge Analytica scandal. So US regulations have approved a $5 billion penalty to be levied on Facebook to, uh, you know, to settle a probe into the social networking sites, privacy and data protection lapses. And below you have Russia sends telescope into space. So Russia has launched a space telescope. So this is, uh, you can see, Proton M rocket, which has carried this uh, telescope called Spectre RG. So, this Spectre uh, uh, has been developed by Russia with, along with Germany and is a space observatory intended to replace Spectre R, known as the Russian Hubble. So, Spectre R was launched in 2011 to observe black holes, neutron stars, and magnetic fields, and now a successor has been launched Spectre RG. And below you have Ecuador tribe wins legal battle. So court has ruled preventing government of Ecuador in South America from selling rainforest land to oil companies. And this is Chevron spill 30 lakh liters of oil and water in California. So this is in USA. So massive oil spill cleanup has begun now. Uh, nearly 30 lakh liters of oil and water has been dumped into California Canyon, making it, uh, you know, larger if less uh, devastation than the state's last two major oil spills. So Chevron will also have to pay for the cleanup now. So, so oil spills are also a major cause of concern with respect to environment. So these are the important headlines. For detailed coverage of current affairs, you can visit our website ahr.com. Thank you.